Catherine Fitzmaurice, mm. who uh, this extraordinary work came from, she studied bioenergetics mm. um, for, for years. Um, and she'd also studied in more traditional approaches to voice. Um, but she was a very, is a very curious human being and has a very brilliant mind body um, genius in a way. And she started to question her actors seemed to, no matter how much they did the traditional voice work, they still appear to be tension deep in the vocal tract. And I would have felt that myself until I came to her work and I, I had been teaching voice for a very long time. Um, and she went away and studied bioenergetics and within the bioenergetics she went deeper into the unconscious mm. and she went into the autonomic nervous system. Mm -hmm. not just the central nervous system. And within the, the autonomic nervous system, she began to work with these different postures, which you could call modified yoga postures. Like she had studied yoga for 10 years, went, no, 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 this we need something else when it comes to the voice. And because with the voice, she talks about freedom and focus, chaos and structure. You want both those things alive. Like you said, I'm breathing with the experience. Mm -hmm the length of the breath really changes like a jazz-like piece of music all of the time, depending on the experience I'm having. So you want a flexibility of breath. Yeah, it's not about I breathe in, I speak, because then you get like <laughs> monotone, mm. the delivery is just flat, because some you're not really bringing in that liveliness. So within the bioenergetics, what she has are about 12 different postures that work at different parts of the body all the way from the pelvis up to the crown of the head. And you're releasing any hold or tightness through really gently massaging through tremor. A, a voluntary, this is a voluntary tremor that we're creating. It's the Golgi reflex. Ooh. So that it's between fully extended and fully closed, there's a, there's a moment where the body starts to, to shake in mm -hmm. order to, almost like a healing response, mm -hmm. yeah. And what she did was explore connecting the breath to that. And she talks about this fluffy breath of, of the in and the out breath. Yeah. So you get that in, in many ways, you're being breathed by your body. Yes. Yeah, and it's like, for me, I've, I always felt like it was like pouring the breath like a glass, like champagne into a glass, the breath was being poured into the tremor and there was this relationship happening where you were breathing life into the different parts of the body that had become held and tight for very real reasons of protection, but that for the vocal instrument and for in particular actors, they need to have a flexible instrument where they can move mm. and go and be emotionally and sensually available and to be able to speak from, from very complex places.